Angeles, California. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Oh, you know. Jimmy, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. Well, once I'll get the door. Oh, seems ah, there we go. Something chill to watch. The following video is rated R and is intended for an adult audience. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike, eh? As this video may contain adult themes and situations, strong language and opinions, good and <laughs> bad advice, cannabis cultivation and consumption. So as long as you're a responsible adult, kick back, spark one up, and enjoy the show. And quite queen works only occasion. Hello, it's freaking Sunday. Sunday. Uh, so, everybody, let me know if I've got any weird things going on today. Oh, you know what? We can get rid of this thing. The goal up top here. Whoa. I ordered it. It's here. I got a I got a brand new video card. Huh. I'll be paying for it for the next year, but it's here. We got it. This is what I got. I went for a 4070 super overclocked. This is what I ended up doing with the Towards uh, anybody that anybody that chipped in towards that, big fucking thank you. Anybody that didn't chip in, hey, thanks for showing up anyway. It's all good. You don't have to chip in. It's not a necessity. It was a want. And I thank anybody that did help contribute. I appreciate it. I really do. <sighs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Man, it's been a fucking hard week for me. I've had a very shitty week. Uh, I had uh, I've had some nerve damage in my leg. Um, I lost my favorite chicken. My favorite chicken died. It's been a pretty weird week, man. My favorite chicken died to what's called being egg bound. She had a bad egg lay. It didn't come through. So, I'm going to have a death. Uh, does it get you higher? Mm, what the fuck is that? Does it get you higher? It gets my video game... Okay, is what it does is it gets my video games looking better and it gets my rendering time for videos better. <clears throat> um, yeah, it'll make my video render times much faster and more efficient. Um, I do a lot of video editing, so that is important, believe it or not. That is a factor. Um, and it, yes, it'll make my video games look prettier. Clearly you made it. How did the hospital trip go? Uh, well, it was not a blood clot. They figure it might be some pinched nerves or some sort of, like, they say, like, it might be a muscle spasm. There's a couple of, there's a list of things that it could be, but it was not a blood clot. That was the big scare. My legs started going numb. Uh, I, I figured that was time to go take it to the fucking hospital. And she says, you were very smart to do that because that was my first, as, as the doctor, that was her first thought too. That's why she did the blood test right then and there. And we're okay. Yeah, but I've, had, I've been having leg problems <coughs> for the past couple days. <coughs> I've even been <coughs> using my cane again. <coughs> it's like I hardly walk. <coughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but <coughs> that was a dab. <coughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. spoon. Coffee. Let's mix these two together. Let's make these two friends, shall we? Mmm. 
Ooh. Uh, big fat bitties. <laughs> Motorboat them bitties. <laughs> Thank you, tip of the hat and all that, good sir. Nice, we got that working. Yesterday I was struggling hard. After I put the new video card in, all my sound stuff started fucking up. And I had to struggle for about 45 minutes or so at least, maybe an hour, on my stream trying to dial in what was happening with my sounds. It was kind of weird. <clears throat> but for anybody that cares about that level of stuff, about the gaming side and the more entertainment side of the, the Twitch channel, um, I believe we're going to be starting, me and Frozen are going to start and aim for the goal of beating Ark. Yes, that dinosaur game. There's the brand new Ark, Ark uh, Ascended, it's called. It's made in Unreal Engine 5. It is absolutely fucking beautiful. But I couldn't run it on my old computer, my old setup. My old video card was too old. So hopefully, this new one will do the trick. I just got an EcoWit, a soil moisture sensor. It seems pretty cool so far. You know... I'd like to hear, anybody in chat, has anybody had good success with those moisture meters? An EcoWit, I'm going to look this up, Eco, okay, here we go, okay, that looks a little bit better than some of the other ones that I've seen. I've used those simple, um, like if you just took a, a soil, if you take the name off of that and just type in soil, yeah, see, moisture meter, meters, yeah, those things, soil moisture meters. I've had no luck with those things. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, over here, Bop. these things. I've had no fucking luck with these things. Has anybody else had luck with these things? Um, the one that you just talked about is a nicer, a much nicer one. There's some brands out there that claim that they're pretty good ones. <clears throat> but I'll tell you right now, um, things like this, I don't understand how these things fucking work, man. They just don't seem to do anything. They, they really don't. You, I've got a bunch of these ones right here. Yep, these ones here. I've got a whole bunch of these things in my greenhouse beds, and they barely worked. I had I had struggles with these. I wonder. I'd be I'd be interested to find a, a, a good sensor that actually works properly. That'd be nice. Although I'll tell you, I'll tell you the best sensor that you can possibly get when it comes to testing testing if your moisture is at the right level or not. Pick up your plant. Grab the pot. Pick it up. If it's heavy, it's moist. If it's light, feed it some water. <laughs> That's one of the easiest ways, for real. But I, I would be curious to find a good working meter. I've struggled a hard time finding uh, uh, pH meters that I find that work really well. And I found a couple. I'm sure if you reached out to Pulse, they'd be happy to work with you. They use a, the Aurora meter with their hub. Okay. Um, what were they called? EcoWit. EcoWit. Um, they got a website? Yep, they do. Okay. I will... Um, Oh, it's a blue. They got a Bluetooth sensor. A wire. Wait a minute. What? For real? A wireless moil. A wireless moisture sensor that looks like a gun that you just stick into the soil and it'll tell you on your phone. It's only fourteen bucks. What? That can't be right. That seems like so too cheap. Well, cool. Yeah, maybe I will hit these guys up. Maybe I, w I will. I mean, I, 14 bucks is not a problem. I don't, I'm not worried about the money on that. But maybe they've got some other... Let me take a look here. Sensors. What do they got? Oh, they got a whole sensor array. 
They got uh, so. Oh, they got okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Weather station LED weather station display hooked up with your meters. You can stick a couple of meters. You can have a, so the idea from this from what I'm looking at here is it looks like you get a couple of those meters and you stick them in different things and name and label them and then you have a, a weather station that you can run a lot of them from and take a look at like your app or whatever and you can see how the different pots are going. You can see oh shit pot number two is really dry today. We better get out there and check it. They also got rainwater sensors. Yeah okay. <clears throat> I'll email these people. They got a couple of cool products that I would use on the on the homestead for sure. Yeah, I'll I'll take a look at them. Why not, Mister Caspa? Ahoy, good sir. How you doing? It graphs over time. I got the blah, blah, blah sensor coming in a week or so. Cool. Yep. You can stick it in deeper, like, yeah, see, that's what I run. I run living soil beds, so, uh, and I struggled with my meters. Like I said, last last year, I found that my meters were very unreliable, and I basically had them in there, but I didn't pay attention to them. I just watered when I figured it needed to be watered, and tried to do it on a regular basis, and kept their, uh, uh, their bins full as much as I could. See, the problem is I got these big six foot by three foot living soil beds that are like about two feet deep. And um, that's a lot of water. And the watering mechanism that I have, the containers I have for my watering is only the two containers I have for each bed is maybe, let me think your gallons, five maybe 10 gallons oh. <coughs> so this is some mixed rosin <coughs> oops <coughs> oh no it's on <coughs> mixed rosin um i pressed it last week on the live stream it is uh the <coughs> super orange haze <coughs> super orange haze and um i believe sweet and smelly kind of mixed together and then this jar here that i've been smoking on which doesn't have much left in it is um the cbd uh the cherry kush cbd stuff that i've been loving on wow delicious delicious <coughs> so um, it snowed last night, which is fun. It snowed last night, but we're about to get into the final stages of setting up our garden. I've already done, um, the first major section of my greenhouse, um, including setting up one of the lights. Uh, I'm going to have to hook up the other light. And clean up the other scrog thing. But I wanted to film the other one. I wanted to do one just the way I figured I needed to do it. And um, just get it done, right? And to, to sort of like learn what I wanted to do. And then I will film the second bed. And that way I'll just go like this. I'll film the one bed. And then I'll just say, and I did it, the same thing to both beds. And I'll show both of them off as far as the video is concerned. See, that's something that's weird. A lot of you um, that don't make content uh, won't understand this, but this is the reality. Um, I quite often... Oops, that was a dab, by the way. I don't count that. <clears throat> quite often, I will push things longer than they should be done. I will delay things in order to film it, in order to broadcast it on my live stream, or in order to film it properly, um, I need to uh, sometimes delay things. And, and sometimes I end up pushing a plant a couple of days past when it should have been harvested, or um, past when it should have been transplanted, or something like that. Whatever step I need to do, 
I should have done it a couple of days ago, but I had a stream coming up, so I delayed it two more days or something so that I could do it on my regular scheduled show. But the reality is the plants don't always line up with my shows, so I do one of two things. I either push the plants further than they need to be so that I can do the show properly, or I try to record things and, 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 and get them at the moment, you know? But it's weird to have to think about things like that. It's sometimes I just want to go do things. Sometimes I just want to go out and work in the greenhouse. Sometimes I don't want to film it. I don't want to stop and make sure I got cameras on me while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I know, woe is me. The trouble of a YouTuber. A lot of people fucking would love this job. <laughs> it's not as easy as you think, though. Uh, I can't wait for warmer weather. I want to fish, he says. Mm -mm. Funny you say that. Me and Frozen were talking about playing a fishing game on the streams the other day. I was saying how big of a crossover there are between stoners and fishers. Whether you're a, a, a like a commercial fisherman or a hobby fisherman or a food fisherman or whatever you do... Um, there is some correlation between cannabis smokers and people that fish or, or enjoy fish, whether it's catching them, uh, uh, breeding them, keeping them in fish tanks. <clears throat> there's a fish and weed crossover for sure. There's, there's a, a definite amount of fish people that are big potheads. I mean, if you, if you really say that, you could probably say any... Um, Anything that people like have uh, uh, a correlation with an, an amount of potheads. You could say frisbee golf. There's a correlation between frisbee golf and fucking and potheads, you know? You say 50% of all frisbee golfers are potheads. Does that mean there's a crossover? Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe there's crossovers with everything, though, is what I'm getting at. Is Maybe there's a good percentage of stoners in pretty much anything that's cool. You know? Mm. With fish swimming below. Mm. Yeah, see, I would like to do... I don't have the proper setup, but I would like to do some sort of an aquaponic setup where I have... Um, like some tilapia or something like that in a tank, and then some plant beds that are utilizing a uh, flood and drain system um, to clean the fish water as well. So the, the two things benefit each other. The fish tank water gets cleaned by the fucking plants. The plants absorb all the excess nitrogens and nutrients and stuff that the fish are producing by poop and then are pushing clean water back in. And uh, uh, and you can grow things. This is what's amazing, is you can grow certain foods in your garden that you can feed your fish. So there's certain types of foods that you can grow that you can feed your fish and then it becomes almost a perfect cycle. You know, and I like this idea a lot. Um, I've I've got some marine biology background. I used to work in a in a uh, a saltwater fish place for a long time, and I got lots of um, information in that. I, I haven't gone to school for marine biology, but I worked in a place for many years with people that were like highly uh, decorated and had degrees in in marine biology and stuff. So I worked really close with some people that were really big into it. So I got big into fish for a while. Uh, fish breeding and uh, keeping and all sorts of stuff. It was interesting. Fun times. <clears throat> but um, my knowledge of that uh, lends me to really like this concept of the cycle. You know, I really like that idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's get a census. How many people out there have fish tanks or go fishing? Do, how many people here fish in some manner? Do you fish like fishing? Do you have fish tanks? Do you like fish tanks and stuff? There, I, I'm curious, but there has to be some... <laughs> the, 
All I used to know is in the old days, a lot of people with fish names, fish, uh, something fisherman, something angler, um, bass pro, this, that, you know what I mean? There was fish names that were coming into my streams a lot. I always thought it was interesting. Holy fuck, man. The music got heavy, hey? The fuck is this? You know what's funny is this is... It says it's 80s synthwave nostalgic radio. Uh-oh. I just realized something. This is not potentially uh, covered. I'm going to turn this shit down. I... I thought I was on somebody else's channel. How about them apples? I thought I was listening to this guy. <clears throat> there we go. Yes, I agree. I think it's dab time. I think it's absolutely dab time. Okay. I think I'll use the peak. Um, I think I've even got some actual shatter here. I do. And then what's over here? Is there something here? Or is this, was this that other thing? I think this was that other thing. Yeah. So that's garbage. That's an empty package. So I actually have like a little bit of a little bead still here of some actual shatter. Look. <laughs> oh, oh, it bends. Oh, it's not shatter. Look, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's very touchable though I'll be able to oh yeah it, it broke as soon as I tried to bend it backwards look it's shatter let's be real Okay. Almost forgot how to turn this dang thing on. Okay, what do we got here? Green, red, white. We want white hot, baby. White hot. Uh uh. What are you guys all smoking on here in in chat? What are you guys all dabbing upon? I am dabbing upon this, and I don't know what it is. But we're going to smoke this blob right here. Whee! There we go. It'll melt in there. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, it smells good. Cheers. music playing <laughs> there's music playing I think I think mr. Dardis you got caught between two songs perhaps <coughs> or maybe there was a downtime and I didn't notice <coughs> oh yeah, I forget what that was. I want to say that that was like Pineapple Express or something, maybe. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what it, what it is. Mm. Woo! Settles in pretty good, too. <coughs> the Dab Time song was really low. Hmm. So, 
That was done with points. Hmm. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I've definitely had some <clears throat> issues lately. Like I said, I've been I've been struggling with my sound effects. Um, I don't know why some of them are so frigging low. Um, I'm not even sure how to identify which ones they are. Um, here, let me check a few things here. I've got uh, unhide all. There we go. Fox sounds, stream elapsed, stickers, stream deck. Yeah, it's all cranked up. Like, that's that's the problem. Is <clears throat> All those things are cranked right up. So they shouldn't be low. Hold on here. I'm going to try this. I heard that okay. I think maybe the music was just a little bit loud. It seems okay. <clears throat> the only other thing I can maybe do is um, I can producer creator dashboard. I can go over here to the extensions and just double check. So that would have been sound alerts right there. Configure, open dashboard. So fucking confusing. I hear that quite well. Mm, dab time right there. Volume is maxed. Oh, channel point ones. Um, dab time right here. Ah, volume could be up a little bit louder on the... Okay, so there, the the volume on the dab time with points <clears throat> was quieter than the dab time with bits, apparently. I didn't notice that. There's, there's too many fucking options. It is so easy to get one of these things fucking messed up, man. How do I save that now? So if I just go to another thing and then come back, it'll be good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there. Just like that, <clears throat> it should be good. Mm. Oh, okay. <sighs> Dab time. Dab time. So I've been wrestling with the idea of getting some of those background tiles back here. I kind of want to get some. You 
know those weird tiles? Like a lot of YouTubers and stuff put behind on their wall. They're white and they're all these little triangles. And they, then these lights hit off them and make these cool shapes all over the place. And they look fucking badass. I wouldn't mind getting some of them, but... It's one of those silly things, almost. I don't want to say silly, but it's like a small thing that um, would look probably pretty cool. But I don't... Don't really need it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Whew. Man, dabbing. I had my first... Bananas says, I had my first dab at Spanibus last week, and man, I was a paranoid zombie. Too heavy for me, man. Keep in mind, maybe you did a heavy sativa and it made you all paranoid. Um, the, the honest-to-God truth is, um, I think people should experiment with dabs on their own accord. Don't let somebody give you a dab. People are going to give you a dab that is close to what they think is a normal dab. For somebody that doesn't dab, that's huge. That's a big fucking dab, and it's going to send you to the fucking moon. Um, uh, we miss Bunny. <laughs> I don't. I can hear her. She's just down the hallway. <laughs> She's doing something... It's doing something by the back door. Hey, Bunny, what are you doing? Oh. Nope. She's got her headphones on. Yeah, she didn't hear me. Um, So I was kind of the same way. The very first time I ever had, like, a proper fucking dab, the guy floored me. I fucking, like, puked and was, like... I greened out, man. It was fucking huge. It was a monster dab, and I should not have had a dab that big. And it greened me the fuck out. It kind of scared me at dabs for a while. Then I had a client tip me with a couple of grams of shatter. They gave me like two or three grams of shatter. I didn't know what to do with them. So I went home and I made a, a homemade little smoking machine thing. A little, a little, I used, I jury rigged some, uh, uh, the pancake mechanism from um, one of my vape pens. And I made a little jury rig vape pen thing for some dabs. And uh, uh, it worked. And I took little tiny dabs, man. Little tiny dabs. And got just fucking destroyed high. It brought me back to how high I used to get when I was a teenager smoking pot. You guys remember when you first started smoking weed? How it used to just fuck you up and you could like barely function and you'd like go into laugh fits watching TV and stuff? That shit doesn't happen no more. We're fucking, well, number one, we're like mostly grown adults and stuff. But, um, yeah, you sort of, you get a little bit desensitized to like just smoking weed. But going to dabs kind of does that again. It kind of refreshes it all. It's like, it's like starting all over again. And it is way cleaner. It is far cleaner and less damaging on your lungs. People that smoke pipes or joints or blunts or any of that shit you are smoking so much carcinogens i'm not trying to preach i'm just saying there are far cleaner ways to inhalate cannabis and dabbing is one of them dabbing is probably the cleanest way hey beard uh harvested uh, 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 uh i have a harvest in six days from coastal mary used your code hey right on uh best harvest yet Two keepers. What did you grow? What did you get? What uh, What are the ones you really liked? <clears throat> Bananas. It sent you out to the solar system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's dabs are awesome, but they're strong, and you gotta you gotta dab responsibly. Dabbing. Okay. I've always looked at it like this. When I used to work at the at the dab lounge, the, at the weed lounge thing. Um, I used to try to tell, I used to get lots of newcomers to dabs, and I always try to tell them it like this. A joint is like a beer that you're passing around. You're having beers with your friends? A joint is like having a beer with your friends. You can have a couple of them. It's okay. It's casual. It's chill, right? It's all good. But a dab is like doing shots. It's like doing shots of hard bar. Uh, shots of fucking rum, whiskey, fucking vodka, whatever your fucking, whatever shoots your fancy. 
joints and bong hits are somewhere in the in the beer ratio, whereas dabs are hard bar. That's the difference. Uh, one dab is roughly equivalent to an entire joint, minus all of the carcinogens and frickin' chlorophylls and uh, carbons that are coming with it, you know? Um, that's why I sort of moved to concentrates, is because I quit smoking, and smoking joints still kind of tasted, I could, it was tasting that carbon, it was still hard on my lungs. And vaporizing concentrates, which is what you're doing with concentrates, you're not burning, you're not smoking dabs, you're vaporizing dabs. Speaking of which, let's vaporize one. Okay. <clears throat> Try dabs on your own. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to... And, and, and maybe don't get a heavy sativa. Maybe get some something, a good middle hybrid or something like that, you know? And again... Do what you want to do, man. I don't want to tell you to. I don't want to tell you to do anything that you're not comfortable with. I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm only trying to explain that there are better ways, and don't be scared of it because it's, it's actually a far funner world. I love dabs. I seriously do. Like I don't smoke joints or bongs anymore because of how in love with dabs I am. The flavors are so rich, and. It's so potent and the, the, I don't know, there's something about the world of dabs. Dab folks know what I'm talking about. It's hard to go back once it, once you go dabs, it's hard to go back, man. <laughs> Cheers. Chris says he enjoys a good, a good joint now and then. Yes. <clears throat> you know, I miss joints. I miss that casual... I, I miss, like... <coughs> fuck, man. <coughs> Here's a good example. I'm at five dabs right now. All right? How long have I been live for here? Fifty minutes? A little bit less then? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. I am going to go out there, but <coughs> where's the soil so I can do the onions? Right in front of those small tent, right, right, right in tent alley. It should be just right there. Uh, under the table? M maybe under the table. I think it's just right there. Okay. I don't think I put it anywhere. I, I thought it was right right beside there on the floor. I wasn't in a state of mind <coughs> where I was no. like, oh, I can go look but for it. But that stuff, that stuff's ready to go. Use that stuff first. I'm going to go feed the chickens clear what I can, but I just stepped on the bottom of a pill bottle lid, and it hurt so bad. Ooh. It was, I was taking the garbage, recycling to the extra room, Sharp and there corn. was a, no, right, right Come in, come, come in door. and wave for just a quick second, just say hello. Come, come and say, hey. Right behind the door, there's a pill bottle upside down, and I heel hit it. It's like stepping on a Lego. No, I've never stepped on a Lego, but Dude, it hurt it, like a motherfucker. They would have used Legos in wars back in the day. <laughs> if they had those things, they were, they're were they like caltrops. Dude, those things suck. <laughs> Fucking stepping on Legos is brutal. I was like, oh yeah, I'll walk it off. And now I'm like, oh, now I'm walking funny. I'm like, oh. And okay. if you're letting the chickens out, keep an eye on them. You should let him out if you're gonna do that. I'll come out. Oh, it is perfect for my phone. I'll come join you when I'm done session. You can see my phone too now. Hi, Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Okay. Hello, little girl. She sounds like she's whining all the time, but it's just kind of how she talks. She's got a whiny little voice. There's this main coon channel that I follow, and there's this main coon. He walks up. You think he's gonna have this majestic meow? Hi, like, Pepper. Tell me, Rubs, you want to go down? Okay. Okay. Here you go. <sighs> Hello. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm at technically right now, I'm at a month. And that might be why I'm like, I've gotten this far. I can't really go back. Yeah, Bun Bunny's quitting cannabis right now for, um, for this, let's say, let's just say it's a course. There's a thing she's going to, and she has to be... It's required abstinence. Yeah, she's got to be weed-free and alcohol-free and stuff, so... 
Whatever, man. It's It'll be worth it in the end. Regardless, um, Bunny has been re re restraining from cannabis. The first week, she kind of turned it down to, like, from 100 to, like, 20%. Like, she had a puff or two in a day versus, like, wait, she used to out-dab me all the dang time. All the time. She was always a couple ahead of me. You got way pinker lungs than me. I, I smoked cigarettes for 20 years. <laughs> you did for like, three. Oh, I'm <laughs> stopping after the day that I have more than I ever do, or I have all of my days. Yeah, we had this big blowout. In one hour. We ordered this weed in. We, we gave ourselves a little bit of a, 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 a goodbye hurrah, a, a whole bunch of good that. flavors that she wanted to try a bunch of yummies before. But <laughs> yeah, she kind of peaked before she tried to quit and it's kind of like i got myself the great well, yummy things a lot of people really will do that I'm not, I'm not condoning that type of action but a lot of people will do that if like they're going into rehab or something they'll go do their drug of choice one more time or something that's <laughs> <laughs> i can see why a lot of people would do that uh, yours is voluntary it's different it's not rehab but <clears throat> but uh regardless um yeah i'm proud of you it sucked for the first week. The second week was kind of a little less shitty. And it actually kind of went a little bit more up. Because I had, in I guess maybe in the first week or two, I was weaning. And in the second week, I noticed that the high lasted like an hour. Whereas to me, when I was a chronic, it felt like it lasted minutes. Mm. So that was interesting. Yeah, so... um. I'll, I'll I'll get back to that dab. I'll get back to the dab B thing here in a second. It's funny because I would have uh, that that flag is way bigger than I expected. It's huge. It's it it goes behind those two fucking shelves. It's a large flag. Um, I'll probably end up. I want to kind of get rid of this <clears throat> from behind me, and I kind of want to put those triangle fucking plates up here behind it. I think they'll look really good. However. I really like the bee, and I wouldn't be getting rid of it if I did. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, I'm burping all over the place. If I did, I would be putting it in my grow room on one of those big blank walls. I've got my other flag in there with my my, my can of beard logo, I was gonna say, and can then I could put that right is. beside. I like the leaf. I at least like this I, leaf okay. a lot more than I like the actual. I like flag. doing this. A lot of times oh. in my in my videos when I when I do videos and I'm talking to the camera about something, I got this perfect crown of pot and it fucking fits like I a feel glove like if and it I kind of like it. You'd have just it feels like my weed throne almost. Eyes. <laughs> and you would look like he's like side eyeing from behind your head if it was up there. I'm trying to think. Is the derpy bee? Anyway, so to hey, where's my bee? You've seen it. It's on the, it's on the tool thing. Oh, okay, here it is. Well, I just looked on his stand there. So, here's the story behind the bee. Does everybody, I, I don't know how many people know this, but there is a, a legit story behind the bee. So, for anybody that doesn't know, I was a tattooist for about 28 years. I, I round it off and say almost 30, whatever. 28 years, I devoted my life to the tattooing trade. And... Then I got the nerve damage, and then I got the grumpy old man syndrome, and combined the two of those with my dwindling ability to be able to tattoo at the skill level that I was used to, uh, made me a grumpy old fucker, and I had to quit. You were at least on the tail end of that when I met you. You weren't that I, I, cranky I know, when I met I, you. I, for my own sanity purposes, I had to quit tattooing. My my body had broken down so badly that it was it hurt to tattoo. To a point where I was getting angry at tattoos. And I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I had to get out of it. I had to leave. Regardless, I was a tattoo artist. I fucked up this kid's spelling. He got a quote, a big ass quote, a big fucking phrase, like fucking 40 words long or something. All calligraphy in his fucking armpit, right? We did it all. We checked it. Showed it to the guy. Yep, it's good. Showed it to the piercer. Yep, it's good. Okay, we fucking tattooed the thing. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Good sir. Yeah, he tipped me right on. Good deal. Woo! We're all sitting around smoking a joint afterwards. And the piercer goes, you made a spelling mistake. And I said, pardon me? And he said, in like because or something or one of these words, you forgot the I. There was an I. supposed to be an I in there and it was missing. I said, oh, fuck, when, what, when did you notice this? And he's like, when you were, when you were putting on the stencil, I noticed it. 
And I said, right after I asked you if it was correct? And he sort of goes, yeah. I said, why didn't you fucking say something, man? I said, you seriously knew about this before I tattooed the kid and you let me tattoo this kid with the fucking thing? I got, legitly, that fucking piercer got fired. Not for that very reason, but that was one of a couple of reasons that this piercer, My I got his ass fired from our shop. Like... Anyway, I felt like shit. I fucking misspelt this kid's tattoo and he was a, a Navy boy from out of town. So I was never seeing him again. This guy's gone and he's gone with a fucking misspelt word. It was one word in a fucking goddamn <laughs> sea of a paragraph. And you have dyslexia. And <laughs> that's why I checked with everybody. <laughs> you know, we ask everybody in the shop, spell check this, look at this, does this look correct? And everybody said yes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I felt so bad that I punished myself. But then that turned into something nice. Yes, it turned into something nice. Plus I had this stupid thing to cover up. Part of it. Anyway. I got a, it's hard to show, a, a, a spalling bee. God, why is that a hard angle to show? It is. What the well, fuck? Also, like, if you're losing some of there. that from the nerve, there. it can be. Yeah, that's a hard angle to fucking show. It's a spalling bee. You see, look at the bee's fucking, he's all derpy. He's looking in different directions, he's got his tongue out. That's a fat, derpy ass bee. Do you think the heater is warm on the top? No. It shoots forward. That's its point. Oh, I was just wondering why the cats are loving on it so much. Oh, lately. yes, it is warm too. A little okay. bit. For sure. Anyway, I got this derpy spalling. Fuck, that is a hard angle to fucking show off. I can only understand because this foot's not doing what I want, but I can I can do that weird. I should have put I it on this hand. I didn't have room on this hand. I didn't want to just do it down my thumb. I was thinking about doing something like spall, like check your spalling. What we were going to do, but I wanted the B. I had to cover up something, too. There was, like, a line on my hand. I was going to say, wouldn't that hurt your thumb, but you've got finger caps. <clears throat> oh, I don't care. It all hurts. Um, anyway. I love this fucking derpy B, and I ended up getting a buddy of mine to make me a <laughs> derpy carb cap. It's falling with only one yeah, L. The... It's falling. <laughs> so I got this derpy carb cap, and... Um, it just sort of evolved. We started calling it the the, the derpy dab B, and it and, and and then and then this fella uh, Richie B, um, this this cool dude from the west coast of Canada, freaking made me some animations, and that's the dab time animation. When you see that bumblebee fly out, the fucking dab B, that was from uh, uh, one of my fans made a made me a bunch of animations, and big thanks to uh, Richie B. Rich B. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. Hold on, I got... Mmm. There we go. Anyway. Oh, it does have only one L. I think my head just wants it to be... The my E is backwards, too. It. It's S-P backwards E-L-I-N-G. It's, it's a spalling B. Auto-corrects what I see. <laughs> I know, that was sort of the point. It's, it when you first look at it, it looks kind of right. And then you're like, wait a second. That E's backwards, and it's only got one L. I don't think I ever noticed it had one L. Since I, since I was told that it like, only has one L. Yeah. It's a good story, at the very least, you know? Like, I don't feel too terrible. Whatever, man. I got fucking lots of stupid tattoos. There he is. See, and then we got the fucking... He's just kind of my logo. He's kind of been one of my... He, he, he's like considered the pet. I even got... Ugh. Fucking leg. Oh, fuck. I even got one left. I had, I had ten of these things made and I gave nine of them out. And I got one left of these... The... <laughs> the little fucking crochet this old lady this local old lady made me a whole bunch of these she was making these little bees and i sent her some sketches and she made me one of these she sent me a photo of this and i was fucking laughing and fucking the computer so hard oh my god these things were amazing i should get her to make some more of them they're fucking amazing anyway I gave a few of those things out as Christmas gifts and, like, thank yous to some special fans and stuff. <clears throat> I got one of those crocheted in my living room. Yep, Jay wins has got one. 
There's a couple people that got them, but like I said, there was nine of them that I gave out. I gave like three or something or four out as like contest prizes, and then the rest were sent out to specific people. Mmm. Okay. Man, I am so excited that I've got this new video card. Like, I don't... I've never... It, it's a shiny new toy. And I don't get new toys very often. The new toys I buy are generally always 100% for my channel. A new camera, a new microphone... <clears throat> Um, something like one of these, like the Stream Deck things, you know. Uh, those are so instrumental to how I run my show. That's how I switch between channels and stuff. Um, I don't spend my money on myself very often. And I still, still saying that, that new video card that I got is still both a tool and a toy. It will make my rendering of videos way faster. It will improve my render speeds and uh, capabilities of uh, it crashing and being slow and chunking along while I'm trying to work on larger videos. It'll, it'll have more dedicated graphics power to combat that bottleneck that I was fighting with the old one. So my workflow will get easier and faster. So that's true. But my gaming is going to look a lot smoother too. And that's fucking real nice. Anyways, all I'm saying is I rarely buy things for myself when it comes to shit like that. It's always for the channel or something like that. Like it's cool, but it's... I don't, I don't spend money on myself very often. I really don't. Except maybe a little bit of food. Ha! I eat well. That's true. That's all I do. I eat well and I do my channels. <laughs> it's hard not to eat well in a place where so much food is grown. Where I live, there's just an abundance of food. I live in a fucking agricultural valley. It's fucking amazing. On the side of a mountain in a, in, in, in a fucking agricultural valley. Grow valley. It's fucking great. close to I moved away from that hellhole I got off the fucking island in the west coast I'm in the interior in the mountains fuck that <laughs> I went to a small town I was too close to too much chaos on the island the lower I was southern island I'll tell you that southern island Brrr. too much too crazy <clears throat> once I once I quit once I quit my career it was time to go I wanted to go Back where my roots were, I wanted to go dig in somewhere and do some serious gardening and just fucking live my life. Fucking, I've worked my whole fucking life. I've worked my ass off until my body literally broke down from working. Now I got a fucking cannabis license and a fucked up body <laughs> and a garden and a loving wife and a bunch of animals. Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better retirement plan. I mean, maybe one that paid better would be nice. Something that paid, an actual paid retirement plan would have been sweet, but. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. <coughs> yeah, get away from the island, man. Get away from them big cities. If you guys, if I can give you any advice, 
is move to a small community and garden. It's the best thing you could fucking possibly do, man. Get out of them big fucking nightmare cities. Get back to freaking get back to roots of farming and homesteading and gardening and being a little even just a slice self-sufficient is fucking so rewarding. Man, spend time with your fucking loved ones. Don't fucking work your life away. Don't fucking waste your fucking life in the rat maze. <laughs> Get out of it if you can. If you're able, do it. Run. Run for the hills. As fucking Iron Maiden used to say. <laughs> fucking bothered me this morning it feels better than it did yesterday but it's aching today <coughs> i don't know what the fuck is going on <coughs> i gotta go back on monday <coughs> when the technicians are in so they can do an ultrasound and look at something <coughs> <coughs> oh oh <coughs> Don't kid yourself about being able to afford it. I rent. I have a cool landlord. I'm absolutely blessed with a very cool landlord. I sort of asked them, like, straight up. I said, you know, like, do you have any intentions on selling this property or uh, trading us in for other tenants? That's cool. You don't have to love us. I'm not asking you if you would love us. <laughs> I just want to know how good my chances are for staying here for like, you know, 10 plus years or more and, and slowly try. I'm, I'm trying to buy this place. I'm trying to fix my credit. I'm poor as a motherfucker, but I'm trying to fix my credit slowly, which is fucking hard when you got nothing. <laughs> and, um, <coughs> I want to buy this place because I don't want to move again. This place sucks. It's a kind of shitty house. But on that note, it's kind of cheap. <laughs> I've already got dug in here. We got ample gardening space. I got a pretty small but usable backyard. I don't want to move again. I'm old. I'm getting old. I want to just I want to dig in. <coughs> Congrats on your ACMPR license. <clears throat> That's what I started this channel with. I got my ACMPR license and I started documenting my grow. About once a month, I would do a little update on my grow. Do about three or four updates for a grow because I was growing auto flowers. <clears throat> it was about three or four uh, updates per grow and that was about it. When I first started... And it was just me documenting what I was doing. I didn't really, like... I, I was pretty sure that, like, a weed channel had no chance of making it big. So I was kind of, like, not really too worried about that. Um, and, uh... Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of grown and evolved a little bit, but I still stick pretty true. It, it, it is still just a vlog of what I'm doing. I try not. I try to talk about topics about what I'm doing and lessons that I've learned each each time, throughout the struggles that I'm doing. And I think that there's a lot of value in me showing the process of failures as well as the positives, like showing you what's not working and then how I overcome it has almost more value than just pretending that I, or or just showing the 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 wins only. Um, I don't know. I, 
I, I, I took, I came to a crossroads early in my, in my channel and decided that I wanted to be truthful and just show everything, <clears throat> the good and the bad. Just open it right up and just say, look, this is what happened. This is what I did. This is what happened. And leverage uh, uh, the viewership by saying, do you have any suggestions? What I could have done better on this? And holy fuck, did the fucking community start to respond? Wow. Blew my freaking mind. Um, and you look at it like this, right? If a whole bunch of people in the, in the comments, if I got freaking you know, 40 comments that are all saying the same thing, you know, you, you let them dry out. All 40 of them are saying you let it dry out. And then three or four people are saying this and three or four people are saying it was your nutrients. People say it's not enough light, but most people are saying I let it dry out. Chances are that's probably what happened. If everybody's focusing on that. So you can utilize the, the, the group knowledge of many growers and and then I will implement these changes and it works. And then everybody that suggested it all gets validated in the fact that they helped me overcome this thing and I show it off and I say, well, this, this is what I do. And this has sort of been my process for the whole time. <clears throat> Cause I could just read up on everything and do my best to, 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 to never ever fuck up or, um, make sure everything's perfect, perfect, perfect. But I'm not that OCD about it. I'm like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a true, I'm a stoner and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to make it a job. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this should be easy. <clears throat> I want it to be fun. I want, and it's always kind of been fun. It, it's had some ups and downs being a, a, a YouTuber or a streamer or creator or any, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you know, it's uh, I, it has brought me some pretty pretty fantastic friendships and connections, and been validating for so many reasons, and brought in other good things to so many other people that it kind of blows my mind. <clears throat> How much good be? I see all the good that this stuff I, that I've done does in the background and I, I generally don't like braggart about it or like show it off because it's most of the times when I get these validating emails and stuff or, or comments it's kind of a personal thing and I I don't I don't feel the need to necessarily it, it reminds me of that I'm of the old school mentality where I hated seeing people do charity online just for the sake of content like, it's not charity if you don't record it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I've always disliked that kind of thing. I'd rather just do it and know that it's done. And whatever, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm clear with my contests on who, what the contests are, who wins and who gets what and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I like the way I do it. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> And uh, it, it, it does a lot of good, and it, it trips me out sometimes hearing some of these stories, people. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty weird. Speaking of which... <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Speaking of which, I got to think, start thinking about what I'm going to do next, but <coughs> Grow Garage. <coughs> mm. Holy crap. I'm working on it. <coughs> <laughs> I gotta need a timeout on the dabs for a few minutes. Holy shit. Speaking of which, Grow Garage, I'll be doing an episode of it on Monday. I'm turning off the light tonight. And I guess that's tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow. 
Tomorrow night, I will be doing Grow Garage. At the regular 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time-ish. Time-ish. I'm not 100% sure. But right around there. Switching fucking breathing from automatic into manual for a minute here. Whew, you know you're fucking baked when you gotta like pay attention to your breaths. <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> Fuck. Well, you know what? Now's as good a time as any. I think I'm gonna go try to get me some fresh air. Go spend out a little bit of time in the yard with the chickens and the bunny. I got rabbits too, so it's, it was rabbits and bunny out there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I want some fresh air. My lungs are fucking burning right now. I think I'm one dab over the line, folks. <laughs> See? <coughs> I'm trying not to just sit here coughing on the stream, so I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air instead of sitting in this basement. Have a good one. I'll be back on in a couple of hours, most likely, with some ARC. <clears throat> the new Unreal Engine 5 rebuild of ARC, which is, like, way more beautiful than the old ARC. It's crazy how much better it looks. And I got a brand new graphics card, so it's going to look fucking super good for the stream. Uh, so I'll see y'all later and we'll do that but i need to go do yard work first bye bye much love <laughs>